Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to work in my prayerful planner and um, and get a page ready for the scripture writing for this month. So I'm going to go through what I used. So this is my prayerful planner. It is a daily spiral bound planner. This is the 2022 version. They have lots of wonderful designs and colors. They have weekly planners. They have soft cover planners. They have small planners. Um, I will leave a link to their website down below. So today I will be using this. I will also be using my art glitter glue, some of their washi tape that goes, um, that matches the planner. Um, I think we'll be using this one. Um, and then I am using my ever favorite frayed burlap distress oxide <laughs> because I love it. It's my favorite. Okay. So then um, to go with that, um, I will be using, this is the um, scripture writing plan for July that I am going to be following. Um, this is by Prayerful Planner. You can get this resource in their Facebook group. I will leave a link to that down below. So she, and through her email. So also on um, their website, you can sign up to be part of their email um, subscribe to their email, sorry, and she will send you a link to, to their scripture, journaling, and prayer prompts every month. Along with creating this for you, so you have um, your verses here and then your prayer prompt here, she also usually gives you a cute little um, sticker set or clip art set. It's a PDF, so you print it out um, and it's always got the numbers down here and then some, um, adorable, they're always so great, um, clip arts that you can use in your scripture writing. Okay. To go with that this month, I created a little page here. Um, and, and I'll show you why I created this in a minute, but, um, so I have, um, uh, let me make sure I'm in, excuse me, glue. I have down here, I have notes, prayer, application, and I did um, one of these for each page. So then I did four sets of these, four flowers, and then I had some arrows and some dots and I just added those in so that I could use them whenever I'm doing the notes for the verse. So um, this I am going to, I believe I'm going to put in my Etsy shop, but I will probably see if Jennifer would like to give it away for free in her group and then I will also have it in my group for free as well at Growing Your Faith on Facebook. Growing your, yeah, Growing Your Faith. One page at a time. Okay, so today what we're going to do is go all the way to July here. I've already put my numbers. I'm going to go ahead and write in my scriptures here so I can mark those off. And so here I've created two pages and this is what we're going to create over on the other side. Um, I created these and then decided that I wanted them in color. Oh, I need the post-it notes. Okay, post-it notes. <laughs> Um, so these also came from Prayerful Planner. If you open it up, she's got a lot of different kinds of post-it notes that you can add into your planner. So we're going to be using this one because I think the green will match the pink very nicely. So we are here. Let me slide things over. Actually, I'm just going to fold it. It'll work better this way. It'll keep you in the 
thing here. Okay, so I already inked around all of my little clip arts. I'm gonna ink around this as well. Like I said, I love the inked look. And this um, braid burlap always gives um, things that, that little bit of an antique look, which I love. Just a little bit around the edges. I'm not going to do the top and I will show you why in a minute. So you can find all of um, these printable resources for free. Let's see, I'm going to set this right here and I'm going to glue it down because it just makes it easier. I love this glue so much. All right, so I'm gonna glue down the bottom and then we'll go up and glue up here. So you see they have, I use this as um, my actual planner too. And um, it is, I love all the this space right here, but I didn't want all of that. I wanted a blank space um, when I am doing this journaling. Um, I did, definitely didn't want that health section in there, um, but I definitely use all of those sections in my actual planner. Um, so, um, I just glued that down here. It fits perfectly inside this whole space right here. And then I'm going to take this washi and I'm going to cover this part up right here. Um, I made it as small on purpose so that I had space to put washi right there because I like the washi. So I'm just going to make sure that the washi is long enough to go over that. Rip it. And I actually want a piece down here as well. This piece doesn't have to be as precise. Okay. I love um, getting these done ahead of time so that I can really focus on writing out God's word and spending time meditating on it and learning um, what the meanings are behind all of the different things, looking up words and stuff like that. And I love the creating process, but I also kind of like for them to be a little bit separate, but I love for things to be pretty. So um, I thought if I got a few pages done ahead of time, it would save me a little bit of, whoops, that was not even, sorry. Um, it would save me a little bit of time in the mornings when I'm actually doing my Bible study. And um, that will be super helpful. Okay, I'm actually going to glue the bottom of this down. Just because I don't like it flapping around like that. Okay. Um, I was going to put this right here. But... Um, I think I'm gonna leave it right here. What did I do? Did I have it like this? I had it like this. Um, hmm. <laughs> now I can't get it back situated where I wanted it. Let's just go with this right here. This glue is so great. It um, glues pretty fast. So just be mindful of that if you use it, but this needle tip on it makes um, being able to get up underneath here so much easier. Okay. Now we are going to, I like to keep my application up here because there's these, um, lines right here and I can just put a, um, just a, a sentence or two of how I can apply this verse or the thought behind the verse to my own life. Um, this month is all about growing closer to God, um, experiencing his presence and, um, just being captivated by our creator. Let's see. Put the notes. I think I'll put the notes one over here. So the verse for July 3rd is Genesis 127 and it actually just happened to match up with one of these. So decided to put that one on here and we'll put notes right there 
and we will put our prayer right here. Oops, I almost lost it. And then I'm going to stick my little flower down here. And then my page is all ready to go for in the morning. Um, I kind of feel like it needs something else. I don't know where, and I'm not sure what. Hmm. Should I put a little washi right there? I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I can always pull it back up. That's a nice thing about washi. Yeah. flower down here. Let's ink it. Then we've got a little bit more color on our page. I love these colors that she chose. I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I had pens this color. <laughs> it would be great. I'm going to create a palette based on the pens that I love. My favorite pens are the um, Flare um, Flare pens. Who are they by Pilot? So Pilot Flare? I don't know. I'll put a link to them in the description down below. They are my favorite pens. Okay, so now I'm all set and ready to go for the first three days at least of June. Um, and, or July, sorry. And um, that way I can just really focus on God and studying his word. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you want to um, check out some of these resources, they will be down in the description below. Um, I would love to see your page. Even if you um, don't have a planner, you can still join us doing scripture writing. You can grab any kind of a journal, um, a piece of paper, a sketchbook. I have used all of those things um, to journal in and actually really enjoy journaling in just a pretty journal that you find. You can put all these stickers in there just the same. Um, let's see how much time do we have. Oh, we're good. I'll show you. Okay, so here are two journals that I have used slide this out of the way. So this one is just a composition book and this one is a pretty journal. I believe somebody gave me this journal. Maybe I found it somewhere. I can't remember. But um, so then I just write out my scripture and I write out a little bit of information and then those are some pretty stickers. I don't know where I got those from. Oh I like those. And then I just add in stickers where I got you know, whatever stickers I have that I really enjoy. This um, is from Bible Journaling for Beginners. Um, these are just some purple flowers that I have. Um, I think these are Bible Journal Love. I'm not sure where I got those. Oh, so pretty. I think I got these off of Etsy. So pretty. So it doesn't have to be, you know, something elaborate. Um, so there's that one. And then this is just a composition book. And I did a fall, um, a fall Bible study, I believe, with, um, hmm, I can't remember. So I just wrote out the scripture, took notes, doodled, added in um, the free stickers that they gave, plus some of the ones that I got off of Etsy, washi tape, lots of washi tape. And that's, that's it. It's just a, it's just a composition notebook. Um, this is another one that I did, God's Wisdom Never Changes. I think it was um, by the same people. And I forget who it was. And, and some more. 
Okay, so you can journal in just about anything. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. There is tons of free resources out there for you to use. Um, the scripture verses as, whoops, as well as um, printable images that you can use uh, for free as well. So with that, I will leave you to the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.